hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so so far we have discussed about the time scaling of continuous time signals so in this video we will discuss the same concept for discrete time signal so as we know discrete time is uh, an intermediary stage during the analog to digital conversion it is obtained through the process of sampling then to convert it into digital form we have to perform two more steps quantization and encoding so that is for analog to digital conversion so this is the discrete time signal which we have here the reference signal on which we have to perform time scaling so first we'll do this y n equal to x 2 n so the concept stays the same we'll use the shortcut method directly the principle is the same when any uh, number is multiplied with t or n t in continuous domain continuous time domain n in case of discrete time domain when any number is multiplied with it within the bracket in this uh, continuous time or discrete time the same will get divided here so here what will happen here 2 is multiplied with n it means here it will get divided so it will be 1 by 2 it will be 2 by 2 here will be 3 by 2 so this will become 0 0.5 this will become 1 this will become 1.5 so the time scaled discrete time signal will become like this zero zero point five one one point five no change in amplitude the amplitude will stay the same this is y n so this will be 3 here it was at n equals to 1 it was 3 here at half of that 1 by 2 that is 0 0.5 it will be 3 here at n equals to 2 it was 2 here at half of that that is at 1 it will be 2 here at n equals to 3 it was 3 here half of that 1.5 it will be 3 again okay same pattern same amplitude but the width of the signals actually it is not the width here it is discrete time so here the time instance the reference signal they were divided by 2 okay 1 0 0.5 2 becomes 1 3 becomes 1.5 the same amplitudes at half of these time discrete time distinct time instance now suppose we do the other one that is x n by 2 here it will get multiplied divided here it will get multiplied here 1 into 2 2 into 2 3 into 2 so this become 2 this become 4 this will become 6 so here it will become 0 0.5 will become 2 this will become 4 this will become 6 okay n by 2 divided here 2 is getting divided within the bracket the discrete time here it is getting multiplied okay if it is multiplied here it will get divided here okay just the opposite same was for continuous time domain also okay so this is the first question we will discuss another one so this is the second question that we have on time scaling of discrete time signals this is the original reference signal discrete time format we have the time instance 3 6 9 n equals to 3 n equals to 6 and n equals to 9 at n equals to 3 the value of xn is 1 at 6 it is 3 at 9 it is 2 now we have to perform time scaling operation first let's say x 3n okay so when something is getting multiplied within the bracket with 
the discrete time or continuous time whatever it will get divided here so here it will be 3 by 3 which will be 1 it will be 6 by 3 which will be 2 it will be 9 by 3 which will be 3 multiplied here getting multiplied with n here within the bracket getting divided with the discrete times and the reference signal so the time scale signal will be yn x3n 0 will be 1 2 3 amplitude 1 2 3 so the same amplitude amplitude will be preserved only the 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 time instance it will get one third of that so at here at n equals to 3 it is 1 here at n equals to 1 it is one third of 3 this will be 1 here at n equals to 6 it is 3 here one third of 6 that is 2 it will be 3 here at n equals to 9 it is 2 here one third of that that is 3 it will be 2 okay similarly if we do let's say n by 3 here it will get multiplied 3 into 3 3 into 6 3 into 9 this will become 9 this will become 18 this will become 27 9 18 27 here at n equals to 3 it is 1 here at n equals to 3 times of 3 that is at 9 it will be 1 here at n equals to 6 it is 3 here at n equals to 3 times of 6 that is at 18 it will be 3 here at n equals to 9 it is three, uh, 2 here at n equals to 3 times of 9 that is 27 it is 2 here n is uh, 3 is getting divided with n within the bracket here it is getting multiplied in the sh time scale signal of this way so always uh, pay attention to this when something is getting multiplied here within the bracket in the time scaling discrete time or continuous time whatever it is when something is getting divided with t or n it will get multiplied by the same factor at this discrete time instance or continuous time signal when something is getting multiplied here it will get divided here just the opposite so this is the shortcut uh, method for discrete time signal uh, the time scaling of discrete time signal so i hope you like this videos and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos so have a great day thank you very much